You know, one of these days the intellectuals will be the alphas of society. I'm gonna walk over here now. Hey! Ah! I'm busy, Cooter. I need your help with something! I told you, Cooter, you don't just find stone points lying around on the ground. I have a dozen spears to fix before you guys go hunting this afternoon. What do you mean, you guys? You still ain't gonna come hunting with us? No, 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 no. I lean more towards the gatherer side of the whole hunter-gatherer paradigm. <laughs> yeah, that's some awful pretty tongue waggling. <laughs> hey! You still here? I told you to get ready for the hunt! Take another turn bath! What's the problem, Cooter? The damn fire won't start! Where is it? Let me show you, man. You know, I'm not good at making fire. You're kidding. No, I mean it. I'm a hunter, Ock. I bag more food than all my boys put together. I gotta set an example. I ain't got time to go messing around with no broken fire. Well, there's tribal education for you. The what? Nothing, nothing. Here's the problem. Your kindling is all damp. That's because I peed on it. Uh, why? Why did you pee on it? Because me and the boys is going hunting. I'm not following you. It makes the animals easier to hit. How does peeing into a fire make the animals easier to hit? Hey, man, it works. Two weeks ago, I peed into a lit fire. I bagged two horn kickers that day. About a month before that, Tucker peed into a big old bonfire we had going. He bagged himself a giant furry trunk. Man, you pee into a fire big enough, you could kill anything! But that doesn't illustrate causation. Peeing in the fire probably didn't make the animals easier to hit. You just happened to remember peeing in the fire the day you killed two deer. Horn kickers! Horn kickers. That doesn't mean that one caused the other. It probably didn't. You probably did a lot of other things the day you killed the two horn kickers, but none of that stuff matters either. But, you know, that is a, a common mental error. Then why is fire orange? I'm not sure that's relevant. Fire's orange because it comes from the sun, which makes the animals fast. You rub them two sticks together, it pokes a hole in the air, and lets the sun peek through. You pee on that, it makes the fire darker. Animals think it's nighttime, and they get tired. How could you possibly know any of that is true? How do you know it ain't? Besides, we voted on it! You can't vote on the nature of reality! Sure we can. We just voted last week on where snow comes from. It turns out, it comes from Hornack, the lightning catcher. He's scratching his head and them flakes come down because he's so confused about why it's cold outside. Everybody voted yes on that one. Are you saying we was wrong? Yes! Are you Colin Cooter stupid? Ah, no, no, no! It's just that the laws of nature don't bend to consensus, you know? They just exist whether we understand them or not. No matter how smart we are, no matter how smart you are. <sighs> what you are experiencing was just. Coincidence followed by confirmation bias. Who and what now? Look, look, you just don't remember the day you killed two horn kickers and didn't pee in the fire, or the day you did pee in the fire and had no luck in the hunt. What do you know? It worked every time, except them few times that it didn't. Just look at all the time we're wasting on this superstitious ritual. We should be spending our time trying to understand the world around us with reason and evidence, establishing reliable observational methods, controlling for variables, and recording the results somehow. We need to test our beliefs and assumptions and learn to think more clearly if we did that. Just think of all that we could accomplish. Just think of all the cool weapons we could make. Okay, Ak, you got a deal. Just keep them sharp spears coming. Right, of course. You gonna make that fire now or what? Yes, yes, right, right. There, you see? Just apply a little reasons and basic communication skills and there's really nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna bag me some horn kickers tonight. <laughs>